What did you learn about Zion last night? Well, he struggled, um, especially against this long team. Skip, they're long. They got the two Lopez brothers. They got Giannis. They got Chris Middleton. They're a long team, and they're, they're more athletic than you think, especially when they got low. You know, you don't think Lopez brothers, Robert and Brooke, are very athletic. Huh. But they're so long, and they take up so much space. We know what Giannis is. Giannis is special. I mean, he's, he's going to average 30 and 15. Chris Middleton is another long defender, Skip. And Coddington, Coddington caught him a body last night. Connington. Codd yeah. Codding, yeah. From Notre Dame, Notre Dame kid. Mm -hmm. He got some bounce. <laughs> I, think he, I think he surprised the Pelicans when he went well, to he the Set the record at the combine for vertical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, Skip. And he's in the dunk contest. Dunk contest, contest yeah. Got it in Skip, I, I think for me is that Zion, because it looks like they're playing him at the five. Mm -hmm. Skip, he's going to struggle. He shot one for seven against, he shot one for seven against Giannis, two for seven against Brooke Lopez. He's at a decided advantage. Yes, he has tremendous bounce. But you have to realize he's given up so much, so much height. Because mm -hmm. Lopez is just putting his hands up. Mm -hmm. If he can't beat him off that first step, get around him, dunk the ball, or lay yep. it up on the backside, mm -hmm. he got no chance. And until he develops that outside shot, Skip, and remember, he has yet to make another three since mm -hmm. that first game that he, he was, what, four mm -hmm. for four. Yep. And so that's the thing. I, I told you that was an anomaly. Look, he's a rookie. He struggled. And he's going to struggle. Yeah, he had 20 points. But it took him 19 shots to get that. So, look, <clears throat> he's going to be special. He's going to block some shots. He's going to get some, you know, we saw Sonny Skip. They lobbed him, uh, Zion, uh, Zion. Lonzo lobbed him one from beyond half court, basically the three-point line on the other end. And he caught it. He's going to have moments. But, Skip, he's going to have to develop an outside shot because they're playing him at the five, and he's so giving up so much height. Not weight, but height. So he's at a decided advantage. So, I mean, he's, I, I believe he's going to be a, a, a good player. I don't see what you see. You see transcendent, maybe an MVP. I don't see that yet. But he struggled last night, and I believe he's going to struggle against bigger guys. Hmm. So I want to put last night in some perspective. Okay. okay. My favorite word. Giannis is in his seventh NBA season. He's played in 511 games and 34 playoff games. Wow. Mm -hmm. A lot of basketball. Yep. Yeah. Grand total, 17,872 minutes huh. has Giannis played mm -hmm. in this league. Last night, Zion played in his seventh game, and he now has a grand total of 189 minutes. So just frame it with that, because there were the first couple of years with Giannis, when he was the Greek freak, he was really having a hard time. He wasn't nearly as physical. He hadn't gotten his man body Yeah, he yet. got his man body now. He, he was getting pushed <laughs> around, and he didn't get it. He didn't play very aggressively. He didn't play at all physically. Mm -hmm. It was all finesse. And now he is starting to dominate this league yes. in ways that I didn't even see coming. Right. He is pulling away in PER. I think he's starting to run away with the MVP again. I think it's a two-man race, Kim. Well, I, I think know. it's LeBron. I think it's LeBron and Giannis for the MVP. I really do. Well, look at his PER. He's just pulling away like crazy. And James is second. He's four points behind him. So it's it's huge. Just 33 to 29. And then in PER points, mm -hmm. those are huge. That's a mm -hmm. giant gap between him and James. Right. Okay. So you got the perspective on this. What I learned, to Jenny's question, was what I think Zion learned was just attack them. Mm. You're still, you, you got bulk and girth and leaping power mm -hmm. they don't have. Correct. I, I got you. They are the number one defensive team for a reason. <laughs> sure. Brooke Lopez is second in the league in block shots mm -hmm. because he's seven feet and long yeah. seven feet. <laughs> and, and obviously Giannis is 6'11 and even longer. So you're not going to run up against any better, you know, any longer team than this team unless you want to give me the Lakers. And I still don't think they're as long as these two no, no. guys. Okay. Not these two. No. So what did I start to see in the fourth quarter as they started to mount a, a comeback after a horrendous third quarter? Because remember, at halftime, they're, they're right in the game. Right. But then third quarter, they get blown off the floor. Fourth quarter, here comes Zion leading the charge. And I love him in the fourth quarter because he, he's a fourth quarter player. We saw it at Duke. We saw it again last night. He went attack mode. And he started just taking it right into the chest of the shot blockers because I think Alvin Gentry's over there whispering in his ear on the bench, you got to go after them. Yeah. What, what's the age-old cliche? Shot blockers go right into their, their chest, chest. Yep. because they will foul you. Who shot the most free throws in the game last night? Zion, uh, Zion yeah. did. Shot 14 to Giannis's 13. And he made 10 out of 14, which is not 
terrible. Right. It's not terrible. He still shoots it too flat. He's got to fix. He, he just needs to let it. He, he's got to put a little, little more arc to it. Just a little more touch arc to it. Mm -hmm. He will figure that out because the motion is pure. Oh, yeah. The mo got nice rotation good. on the ball. Okay. And by the way, I got to say this real quickly. Lonzo is starting to figure it out because the shot has been changed completely it, it, from it this side like to over here. Yes. He's got it all on the right side of his face. Skip, you talked about Giannis, but what did Giannis do? Giannis couldn't shoot from the outside. No. It wasn't until he developed that outside shot yep. that he his game took off because that's what happened last year against Toronto. That outside shot wasn't falling. They built that wall, so you're not coming in here, and they lose four straight ball games. They did. Now – you got to respect that shot because he can hit that 15-footer. He, he has a little three-point range. Now, he hadn't shot the three ball as well as he shot it against the Lakers that game. I think no. he was like five of seven, five of eight, well, something like that. Skip. He took one last night and right. he made it. Right. So, okay. he can make that outside shot because, Skip, if you get up on him, yep. he's going to go by you in that Euro step because he yep. basically can take three steps past half court and he's at the rim. Okay. So, what did I see for the first three quarters last night? There were at least five shots – that Zion left on the rim because of the length. Mm -hmm. he, 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 you, you don't see this at Duke now. Right. Not like this. No. And so he, he's up and under. He's a great finisher. He's got great body control. He's ambidextrous, left hand, right hand. And, and he kept leaving little bunny shots right. that would trickle off the rim because he just wasn't quite getting it up over the length. That will change. He'll learn how to use his body to shield them off. And, again, he, he, those guys can't withstand his body blows. No. If you go, it's it's like a fight, right. you know, like a heavyweight fight. If, if you pound their bodies for four quarters, you're going to march to the free throw line, and after a while you're going to foul them out right. or they're going to start well, backing off. Well, that'll come with time, Skip, because right now they're still monitoring his minutes. They're still yep. playing him in stretches. And when he gets up because, I mean – I don't know, Skip. Maybe he's a guy. Maybe he's going to be like one of those Embiid's for the first couple of years, Skip. They monitor his minutes. They don't let him get to the 40-minute mark. Maybe 35 is the cutoff unless they're extenuating circumstances. It's a nip and tuck ball game. Yep. But for the most part, Skip, I think they're going to monitor his minutes. So it's going to be hard for him to wear on people because he's only coming at them in waves. It's not like Mailman, Skip. Mailman playing 30, 38 minutes a night and his, his shoulders are in your chest for 38 minutes. That's not, what Zion, that's not what Zion is, is doing right now. But, look, he has tremendous leaping ability. He has tremendous quickness. And like you said, if he could, like, the first, the first couple of moves, Skip, you saw, he went up on boom, dunk. He goes quick, boom, up and on, on the other side. So that's his advantage. That's what he's going to have to do. But if, if they sh shut down that initial move at seven foot, Skip, he's only 6'6". Six, six. Mm -hmm. So they put their hands up. He's not jumping over that. Okay. Nobody plays with more joy and no one plays harder because you saw what happened with, what was it, about six minutes left in the game. Giannis, I mean, uh, uh, Zion went up over Giannis and just ripped it away from him. Oh, you, about you, you better be ready for this. Here's the, sh the missed shot, and he thinks he's got it, and he don't got it because that man will take that ball away from him. We saw it in the summer, summer league. league. against Kevin Knox. Yep. Okay? So that's what I love. Big heart, big motor. Th that will play well over time because yeah. he will just wear people down because he's relentless going after the basketball. I generally liked what I saw, and I think he learned a whole lot last mm -hmm. night because this you, you're not going to get a tougher test than this no. one. No, because like you said, at Duke, they had the best team. Yeah. He was the best player. Now he's figuring out, Skip, I don't have the best mm -hmm. team. I'm not the best player on the mm -hmm. court. Now how, navigate your way around that. I feel, Skip, if he can develop an outside shot like Giannis, like LeBron, because early in LeBron's career, he was more of a driver. Giannis yeah. was all drive. All drive. Now they can shoot 12, 15. They can got some three-point range. Once he develops that, Skip, now you're going to be on to something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Did yesterday's 12-player trade make life harder or easier for Russell Westbrook Ooh. and James Harden? <laughs> that is next. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.